Welcome back. In the last video we looked at the several different ways that we could access the Google Chrome DevTools and manipulate its layout to make working with it easier as we debug web pages. In this video we're going to go in depth and talk about the elements panel of the Chrome DevTools and see how it can help us to edit HTML and CSS in the browser on the fly. So let's get started. To open up the Dev Tools in the Elements panel, I'm going to go ahead and click on this Level 1 heading and click Inspect Element, which will open up the Dev Tools and have pre-selected in my HTML DOM tree the Level 1 heading that I just clicked. Let's spend some time going over each one of these different sections to make sure that we know how they're helpful when debugging HTML and CSS. Now in this large panel here on the left hand side of the Elements pane, we actually get our entire HTML document rendered for us within the DevTools. So we can see here that this begins with a doc type declaration, and then below that we have our HTML tags, um, some head tags, and our body tags. And it's worth noting that one of the helpful things that we can do in the elements panel is actually collapse individual HTML elements so we can get a big picture view of what is inside this page. Um, so for example we could click on this little triangle icon next to the head element, expand it, and see all of the different resources that are being loaded into it and all of the metadata or meta information that it is, it is included in a complex website such as this. So I'm going to go ahead and expand our body tag again because that's where we are going to be doing the bulk of our work today. So over on the right hand side we actually have some information that deals more with the style and presentation of the HTML. Here in this styles tab we can see all of the different styles that are applied to the element that we have selected over here in our DOM tree. As we can scroll down we see that a lot of these are actually very specific. So here we've got this really specific um, class name within an H1 and then down here we can see other things that apply to all H1s and also lots of other rules that may be inherited from other elements that are parent elements of this H1. Now when we scroll all the way to the bottom the Google Chrome DevTools is actually going to give us a really nice visual representation of the CSS box model that is applied to this particular element. So let's scroll back up to the top. So when we're looking at the, the CSS styles applied to this specific element we can actually go through and start editing some of these values. We can check or uncheck things to add or remove certain styles. We can also add additional styles. So here if we wanted to style the way that this text was rendered we could go ahead and change its color to red. Um, and if we wanted to come in and make this text just a little bit bigger we'll go ahead and give it a font size of we'll do 5M and blow that up just a little bit. And so it's very easy for us to come into the page itself, find a particular HTML element, go into the styles that are being applied to it, and add some things to change the way that this page is being displayed. And at any time if we were to reload the page, all of our changes would not exist anymore. And so this only exists in this instance of the page. And if we reload, none of those changes persist. It's also worth mentioning that we can actually come over here and edit things inside of the HTML as well. So let's open up this level one heading tag and see what we have in here. So we've got an image with a source tag for this Google Chrome DevTools logo and then we actually have some text for the Chrome DevTools themselves. So if we want to ever edit anything in HTML we can click in, in there and go ahead and change that text and also add or delete things. So if I wanted to remove this image I could simply select it in my HTML DOM tree, click delete, and then remove that from the page. So there's lots of ways that we could come in and be interactive with this HTML DOM tree and do some things to help us troubleshoot really tricky front end layouts. Um, at any time I could also come in and edit some of the classes. So if I wanted to give this a different class we could take some of those styles away and we can see that again we've broken something there and shifted something up, remove some of the layout styles that were being applied to that particular element by breaking its class. So additionally over here in this right hand box we can also look at the computed styles. So Google Chrome DevTools is going to go through and find all of the different styles that are being applied to that specific element. We can see here that it's going to just 
give us information about things like color, display, the font family, font size, really everything that's going to be helpful in getting us a better understanding of the styles that are being applied to the particular element that we have selected. Um, additionally over in this right hand panel is a tab for event listeners. So the elements panel is very helpful for giving you access to the HTML DOM tree and then all of the styles that are applied to those HTML elements that we're looking at in particular. But another really helpful thing that it does is give us access to all of the event listeners that additional JavaScripts or little jQuery programs could be using to listen for DOM interactions. Um, and so let's open this up and see what we've got going on here. And so here we've got a bunch of event listeners and they're separated out by the type of event that they're listening for. But we can see here that we've got some on-click event listeners and we can look at the particular element that those are applied to and then also see the particular JavaScript files that are calling or running those event listeners. So hopefully this has been a helpful introduction to the elements panel and how you can use the elements panel to modify HTML and CSS and troubleshoot front end layout issues in real time without having to reload or refresh or um, load an external file from a server.